with this extradition treaty, it seems like they're following the likes of Australia, the likes of the UK. What do you make of this latest salvo here in terms of the greater battle between US and China now? Well, I think the U.S. has made it very clear that the more that China treats Hong Kong like part of China, the U.S. will treat Hong Kong like part of China. And so this is a continuing move to sort of equalize the United States' treatment of Hong Kong with the same way that it treats uh, mainland China. Now, some of these things, the extradition, you're talking about a re reciprocal tax treatment on shipping, you know, things of that nature. Um, nothing in the in what I would deem as like earth shattering kind of stuff, but another step down that path where the U.S. is, uh, I think, fairly gradually simply moving to treat Hong Kong like part of mainland China, like it doesn't really have a difference because the U.S. continues to assess that Beijing's move. Uh, since the national security law has been to try and pull Hong Kong closer. The U.S. has obviously said that it doesn't like the moves that China is making. It objects to the moves that China is making. It feels that the moves that China is making are in violation of their deal to not, you know, to, to leave Hong Kong into a two systems kind of situation. And so you should see this as a continued progression down that path. Uh, Derek, continued pressure on Hong Kong and China, yet we're hearing that perhaps the phase one trade talks could resume. We are, has and In fact, uh, we're told by a person familiar with the matter that the U.S. plans to, the U.S. and China plan to reschedule those talks that were postponed last weekend. Now, you know, President Donald Trump earlier this week said he called the talks off. You know, it would raise some questions about the future of the deal. But phase one has been one of these things that even as we have seen rising tensions between the U.S. and China, both sides seem fairly committed to that phase one truce that they signed. Now, there's nothing on the horizon that suggests that there's going to be a phase two anytime soon, certainly not before the November elections uh, in the United States. But this is certainly a sign, I think, uh, that phase one is not as in jeopardy as some people perhaps thought that it might be.